Camp Calvary friends. Today I have with me my friend Ella. Ella, tell us something about yourself that we don't know. Um, I go to dance. What kind of dance do you do there? I do jazz, hip hop, and lyrical. What's your favorite kind of dance? Lyrical. What is lyrical? It's basically like jazz and, and um, ballet mixed together. Oh, wow. So in this next song, you could do a lyrical dance, you could just sing, or you could watch this great video. It's called, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Guide me. God guides us. Oh, that is our Bible memory point today. So every time I say God guides us, Ella will say, follow God. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, I'm so thankful that God guides us. Follow God. Oh, we're going to be so thankful with this next song called Thankful. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say
Let's check in with our Bible memory buddy, Radar the Bat. Radar the Bat. How much do you know about bats, Ella? Barely anything. <laughs> well, we're going to do two fun facts and you can guess which fact you think is the truth. Bats can fly 50 miles per hour or 100 miles per hour. If you think bats can fly 50 miles per hour, hold up a five. If you think bats can fly 100 miles per hour, hold up 10. All right, drum roll. Some bats can fly up to 100 wow. miles per hour. Oh, that's, wow. <laughs> so, Ella learned a fact about bats, and I'm sure you're going to hear more fun facts about bats in this Bible Memory Buddy video. Hi, I'm Radar, your favorite bat buddy. Hey, can I ask you a question? How did you get here today? Did you walk or ride in a car? Or maybe take the bus? Or did you fly through the air like me? Wee! Guess what? We bats are the only mammals who can fly. There are some mammals that glide from tree to tree like flying squirrels. But we bats are the only ones that have mastered the art of high flying through the air. Prepare for takeoff. Of course, birds fly too, but they aren't mammals. Plus, they have feathers, we don't. We're furry and cute too, if I do say so myself. What do you think? Bats fly, and we can fly fast. Some of my bat friends can fly 100 miles an hour. We bats enjoy flying through the moonlight under the razzling dazzling stars. If you ever have to find your way in the dark, you probably use a flashlight to see where you're going. But bats don't need light to know where we're headed. We use a cool thing called echolocation. Echolocation means we make little noises. Then we listen for how those sounds bounce off of things. Those sounds let us know where we are and what's in front of us. It's pretty awesome. Like bats call out and listen for a direction, you can call out to God and ask him to guide you. In the Bible, book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. God showed Moses and the Israelites what to do in the book of Exodus in the Bible. He gave them guidelines to help them love God and live their lives in a special way that honored God and each other. People call these guidelines the Ten Commandments, and they still guide all God's people today. God loves all people, and He wants everyone to love and honor Him too. Sometimes it might be hard for you to follow God's guidance and stay on track. Maybe you want to go your own way instead of God's way, but God's rules aren't meant to control or keep you from having fun. <laughs> no way! God's guidelines show how much He loves you and that He wants the best for you. God guides us. It's been great hanging out with you. Can I tell you a joke before I go? What's the first thing bats learn at school? The alphabet. Ha <laughs> ha Well, I've got to fly. Bye bye. All right. God guides us with his Bible. It's his love book to us. It has an o Old Testament, which is in the, um, the front. Yep. And a New Testament, which is in the back. The back. We're going to be looking at this Bible verse back here from Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek him in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Let's try that again. Are you ready, Ella? We're going to 
hold our heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Oh, God's word guides us. Trust God. God. And we're going to have a music video called My Lighthouse. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining. Darkness, I will follow you, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Ella, do you have rules at your house? Yeah. What is a rule that you have? Um, I have to um, obey my parents. Oh, that's a good rule. If you didn't obey your parents, what would happen? I would get in really big trouble. Oh, yeah. Yep. And what's another rule that you have at your house? Um, I have to brush my teeth before I go to bed. Oh, why is that a good rule? Because then your teeth wouldn't get all moldy. Oh, that's good. Because you don't want that to happen. Um, so would you say rules are good? Yeah. They are good. I am going to tell you a story today about a man named Moses and some rules that he received from God. Ella, would you play the part of Moses? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make you into Moses. One day, a man named Moses, who was the leader of God's people, climbed a mountain so he could meet with God away from the Israelite people. On the mountain, God talked with Moses. He gave Moses important rules to take back down to the people. We can call those rules the Ten Commandments. So there was Moses on a mountain talking with God. Whoa! Later, God wrote those special rules for his people on some stone tablets so they could remember what was important. God guides us. Follow God! Let's find out what God told Moses first. We worship only God and we respect God's name. Oh, 
Let's try something, Ella. I want you to say my name as grumpy and mean as you can. Miss Sue. Ooh, that hurt my feelings just you saying that. That was good. God says my name is most important and you don't say my name lightly or in the wrong way. Ella, could you say my name in a sweet, kind way? Miss Sue. Oh, that warms our heart for just her saying that. And that warms God's heart too. God says, do not misuse my name. So when you hear somebody say, oh God, he says, no, that is not the way to use my name. My name is a name of honor and it's separate. Let's find out what else God says about um, the Ten Commandments. Another one of those commandment rules that were written on the stone tablet said, honor your mom and dads. Ella, what's a way we could honor our mom and dads? By like helping them and like helping your dad with the dishes or um, giving them a hug. That's two great things. This week in the mail, you receive um, a coupon. A coupon. And it's for, it's to, we're going to have it to your parents. And it says, good for, and Ella thought of two great ideas, helping, what was your ideas again? I'm um, helping your um, dad doing, or dad or mom doing the dishes, mm -hmm. or um, like giving, just giving them both a hug. Yeah, something loving to your family, especially your parents, which is a commandment. We need to obey our parents in the Lord for this is right. That's what God says. This is right. It's a good thing to do. So you received a coupon in the mail and you can start filling that out right now. Think of who you want to give it to, mom, dad, or caregiver, and what you want to say on it. You can think of a lot of other ideas. It might be making them an ice cream treat. It might be cleaning your room without them asking. It might be mowing the lawn. There's lots of good things to do on that. So hopefully you finished that coupon. Did you finish yours up? Yep. Let's check it out. Perfect. And you're going to give that to your mom and dad, aren't you? Mm -hmm. They are going to love that. We're going to remember this week when we wear our sticker of radar that, radar, that radar gives us the memory verse that God guides us and leads us down path to help us make the right choices. Ten Commandments are like that. They want us to know that God loves us and cares about us and that we can choose the right path. Our rules, if we make up some of our own rules, they can get us into trouble like it's okay to lie a little bit. That can get us into trouble, can it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is not God's rules. So we want to remember that. Right now, I want you to fold your hands, take a big breath in, a big breath out. And I just want you to listen to my word. God loves you. And even though he knows we won't follow his rules perfectly because we're humans and our sin sometimes causes us to choose rules we want to make up, God's rules are always the best. And Jesus came to save us. Jesus is God's perfect son who came to earth to rescue us from our sins and be our forever friend. Jesus is with us and guides us and loves us. I hope you have a great week at Camp Calvary. We'll, we'll see you next week. Hey, first of all, round of applause for Ella. Thanks for being with us. This was a lot of fun. I hope you come and join me again.